Hi friends, welcome back to Children's Chapel. So we have, we are in the season after Pentecost, also called Ordinary Time, which typically is the color green, and we will start the green next week. But today is also a special day, it's called Trinity Sunday, when we celebrate the three persons of the Trinity, which is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. We are celebrating those three parts of God. And so, um, so the color for that, from feast days like that, um, is white. So we are back to white just for this Sunday because it is a celebration and the feast of the Holy Trinity. So I've also added our white um, ribbon to our calendar to mark Trinity Sunday. So next week we will change the altar cloths to green and we will be in green for a very long time until Advent. So until like the end of November. So we will, we will see a lot of green. Um, so anyway, let's see. Okay, first we have to light our candle. And so you can say it with me. Why do we light the candle? To remind us that God is with us. All right, next we are going to pray, but we're going to ring our singing bowl first to quiet ourselves. And so I'm going to ring the singing bowl. I want you to listen with your ears and put your hand in the air. And when you can't hear the sound of the singing bowl anymore, then you're going to put your hand down and we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer together. And when we pray, we can hold our hands like this or like this or maybe like this. It is totally up to you how you want to pray. So I'm going to ring the singing bowl and then we'll pray. So hands up. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, next we're gonna do our ritual of water. And so for that, you will need a bowl, a cup of water, and a towel to then dry your hands off when we're done. And so we're gonna pour the water into the bowl. To remind us of our baptism and also to remind us of the time when Jesus washed his disciples feet and so both are acts of love at our baptism God says God loves us and when Jesus washed his feet washed his disciples feet that was an act of love toward them so we're gonna touch the water and we're gonna say God loves me and then we're gonna look around at someone else in the room and say God loves you and then we can make the sign of the cross on our hand or make the sign of the cross on someone else's hand. You can also make the sign of the cross like this if you want to, it's totally up to you. And then we are going to dry our hands off. And that is our ritual of water to remember that God loves us through our baptism. Next, we are going to read our story and over the past year, we've read a lot of stories from the New Testament part of the Bible, which has all of the stories about Jesus's life and also stories about Jesus's followers, which we read about um, in the letters and in the Acts of the Apostles. And so now we're going to be moving kind of backwards <laughs> into the Old Testament or the Hebrew scriptures um, to hear stories about God's people um, from the beginning. 
And so we are going to hear the creation story today and how God created the world. Creation. The Bible is made up of 66 different books. This story comes from the very first book in the Bible called Genesis. In this book, we meet the first of God's people and hear their stories. In the beginning, there is nothing but God. Then God breathes into the darkness and begins to create. Let there be light, God says. Light appears. God separates the light from the darkness. God calls the light day and the darkness night. God knows that this is good. This is the first day. On the second day, God says, let the waters separate from one another. God separates the waters above from the waters below. The waters above are called sky. God knows that it is good. This is the second day. On the third day, God says, let the waters move together so that dry land may appear. And so the waters move to make the seas and the dry land called earth is created. God knows it is very good, so he creates even more on this day. Let the earth be filled with greens, plants, trees, and grass. Give them seeds and fruit and flowers of every kind, God says. And so the earth grows. God knows that it is good. This is the third day. On the fourth day, God continues to create and says, Let there be lights in the sky to separate the day from the night. They will help mark the passing of time. And so God creates the moon and the stars for the night and the sun for the day. God knows that it is good. This is the fourth day. On the fifth day, God says, Let the waters be filled with living animals and the skies be filled with birds. And so God creates all different kinds of sea animals and birds. God knows that it is good. God blesses them and says, Go and multiply, fill the waters and the skies. This is the fifth day. Can you name some birds or animals that God created? On the sixth day, God said, let there be on the earth animals of every kind. And that is what happened. The earth is filled with the sounds of every animal. Name some other animals that you think God creates on this day. God knows that it is so good and continues to create. Let there be humans on the earth made in my image to care for the other living things that I have created, God says. God creates humans, male and female, in God's own holy image. God blesses them and says, Go multiply and care for all that you find on the earth. God sees everything that has been made and knows that it is good. This is the sixth day. God knows that the whole of creation is finished. The work is done. And so God rests on the seventh day. God blesses the seventh day and makes it holy because the work is complete and it is good. These are the seven days when God creates the world that both we and God love. The end. It's such a great story um, about how God created the world in seven days. And so do you have a favorite day of things that God created? I don't know that I do. I kind of like when God creates the light and the different stars and the moon and the things in the sky. Um, but what's your favorite? <laughs> what kind of animals do you think God created when God created all the animals? What do you think that was like at the beginning of creation when there were just animals and only the two people that God created, Adam and Eve, what do you think that might have been like? I don't know. That would have been too many animals for me. <laughs> um, but I bet it was really, really cool, especially if you are an animal lover. <laughs> All right.
Well, that's going to conclude our time together. So we are going to blow out the candle and say goodbye. Bye friends.